Hi Taurus, how are you? Welcome to Told as Love Tarot. If this is your first time here, thanks for coming by. If uh, you could like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Um, the channel is slowly, slowly growing and I would like to see um, subscribers to come in, uh, trickle in a bit more. I've taken a few days off and I'm feeling amped and ready to go with these readings again. Uh, Taurus, this is first sun, moon, rising, Venus. If I didn't already mention that, um, if it doesn't resonate, check out your other signs. Um, with that being said, other signs in your chart. Um, I don't really have a pre-message, something maybe about feeling left out or forgotten or even wanting to be left out or forgotten. Like I'm just hearing like, or seeing those memes that's like, yes, I want you to invite me to the party. No, I'm not going to the party, but I want you to invite me. <laughs> oh God, Taurus. Ooh, the Hermit, Virgo energy. September. ish time of year this is like this one wanting to be like forgotten and alone maybe wanting to be left alone death uh, at the bottom that's Scorpio energy Taurus I don't have any of this in my chart so your feedback is always really appreciated someone wanting to be alone like maybe something has happened and it's like there's this desire to just kind of break free from people and society and just kind of be alone for a while. Maybe someone's like really going through a depression. Four of uh, cups reversed. Like I'm seeing someone in their bedroom like there's just a nightlight on and they're sleeping but it's the day. Four of Cups. Someone, um, all right, someone, oh, wow. There's this feeling of, I don't know what to do. Like, what should I do? What steps should I take? Which path should I take? Which offer should I accept? The Empress reversed, King of Pentacles, and Knight of Swords. Oh, there's a lot of cards here now. Five of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, the Star. All right. So these are the first two that came out. And then we got the Knight of Swords, the King of Pentacles, which could be Taurus energy. And then you have the Empress Reversed, which I think might be Taurus energy too. And then we got the Five of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and um, the Star, which is Aquarius energy. I think it's interesting, the first and last cards here are figures looking at a light or like being introspective maybe? Reflective? I'm going to try to get like a big picture reading here because there's so many cards here right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine cards, ten. I feel like someone may have invested in someone or something and they had like full faith that it would work out and something isn't coming to fruition. You could have put a lot of money into something, like dedicated it to it and you thought you'd, um, I'm hearing like return back. You thought there'd be a return back from it, maybe like an interest or something, 
like, I don't know. Something maybe about maybe not seeing like them the um the outcome or the income that you thought you'd be seeing. I feel like someone thought they were making a really good decision or taking a really good offer and it hasn't been <clears throat> it hasn't been like the the right decision maybe. I feel like someone is keeping back and not telling others how much they're struggling mentally and emotionally, I feel. I feel like there is someone here who is seeking help or will be getting help. They feel like they've been living in this depression hermit mode for a bit really reserved really staying to to themselves you may have there may have been like a heartbreak from a female or a mother figure Taurus but um or even like a strong female figure in your life and someone is in the process of doing some healings of maybe that relationship or just personal healing something of recognizing that I'm seeing someone going to like maybe a therapist or thinking about therapy because it's just like there's a lot of baggage here and there's things that they've been carrying around that they've been able to wear as armor maybe you can physically see by looking at you that you've been through some shit in life Taurus but um someone is ready to like let go of baggage it's like wanting a new direction in life to take a new opportunity but this feeling of wanting to take this big exhale and be able to get rid of this shit that's been weighing on me and on my chest stuff that i'm um, it's like stuff that was never dealt with and I just see someone like swallowing their issues. Maybe someone eats like as a coping mechanism, but like they're swallowing their issues and just keeping it down and inside. But there's this desire or need to like purge and get that out. Maybe there's something here with like an eating disorder, Taurus. Maybe, maybe like someone copes with some things or like issues with like eating. The Hermit and the Four of, all right, Nine of Pentacles reversed and the Four of Swords. I feel like someone was lacking a stability growing up that they really needed to help set healthy foundations for themselves, their understanding of what healthy foundations are, whatever that means. And like, I see someone worrying and wondering a lot about like their upbringing Maybe there was an absent mother figure, Taurus. Um, maybe parents split up and like you were constantly maybe worried about one of the parents because you were wondering how they were going to afford things. Or someone is going through a split and is wondering, how am I going to afford this? Four of Cups. There's a lot of fours here. Which is Aries energy. The Emperor. Four of Cups. I have 
have this feeling like there's a Taurus here that I'm connected with that had to be strong. I'm feeling like had to be strong. Did not communicate or tell others like what was going on behind the scenes. This could be in a relationship, this could be like in your childhood growing up, but like there was, I'm hearing like no communication of what was going on at home. Maybe there was no communication home. I see a split in two people, like you can go live with mom or you can go live with dad. Six of Cups reversed. I just, <clears throat> I'm seeing, oh God, another one. Oh gosh, another one. I feel like I'm seeing like all these hands with cups, okay? There's hands with cups being like offered. And this is another hand with a cup being offered. And she's got another hand with a cup being offered. Wow, the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands behind that. I feel like this is all people around you, Taurus, or you around. I just, I feel like this is people around you giving you love and praise. Or like this was you growing up. Like you had a lot of people who had a hand in raising you. Maybe you were um, babysat by several people, several family members. Gosh, I see like, this may sound terrible, but this is how it's, I'm seeing it and it's like, a child that's being bounced from house to house to house who maybe even feels like which is my which is my home like where's my home like I just want one home that I'm going to stay in and they were going from this person's house to that person's house to that person's house and there was never this ability to just be alone and then it got to a point where like you Taurus or the child or whoever was old enough that it was like, all right, you're going to this person's and they were, someone was like, no, I'm not. Maybe there was a Taurus here that had to grow up really quick. Maybe again, there was like an absent parent or absent parents. They could have just been working a lot and that's why you were constantly juggled, but the moon just came out. You know, I think this just came out, Taurus, because I think I'm bringing up things that have been hidden or have been kept secret. Things that you never talked about. Old previous hurts and things that, like, you never thought about even acknowledging or, like, maybe even trying to fix. And maybe this goes with this talking to, like, a therapist, maybe uncovering like this baggage or things that need maybe not even a therapist but just someone you you are connected with and you're you're able to open up to them queen of pentacles upright with the two of cups i'm hearing like where someone should have been able would have where someone should have been giving more emotion they were too focused on money or are too focused on money. And it's like, there's no love here. It's just like, what can you do for me? Or what are you doing for me? And this is falling over the Empress. And I feel like maybe this, maybe the relationship you have with this female, if it's not your partner or 
maybe it's your mother it's feeling more lately or you've acknowledged that it seems more and more about money and not about like love Queen of Wands. Ooh, something came out over there. The devil reversed Capricorn energy. Taurus, I feel like this, this dominant, very dominant, outspoken female energy here. Who not, it, things weren't always happy and healthy. I feel like I'm seeing, I feel like I'm like feeling and hearing like someone who wanted or should have been getting love was getting like, was kind of being forced to grow up really quickly. Maybe they felt like, or there wasn't like a childhood, but Something about lacking, like, a, the emotional. Maybe foundation, like, wasn't I saying foundation? King of Wands just flipped out. Taurus, I'm getting a heavy partners in crime here. And a lot about secrets. Maybe whomever is like your partner in crime, maybe you could have just met this person or you're already with them. There's a lot of queens here and one king. Actually two kings. Two pairs are on the deck. I mean, like, out. The Queen of Pentacles from one deck and the King of Pentacles from the other. And then the Queen and King of Wands from one deck. And then we have the Queen of Swords. Okay. Alright. Now I feel like I'm seeing something different. Okay, now I feel like... This could be some sort of couple. Somewhere where there was a need, like, this could even be with your parent, but maybe the feminine who, it like, things just weren't w good with this feminine, and, um, I'm hearing, like, you, you didn't know what to, they wanted or what they, you could give them, but this goes back to counseling like I'm seeing two people sitting in counseling in front of a therapist someone who's there or just someone to debrief with someone that you can communicate in front of you're venting to this person and they're helping heal the situation because there are very stubborn and fiery people here right now Taurus People who are very stubborn, who are sticking to their guns. Maybe people are into guns, but 
people sticking to their guns and there's a need for someone to come in and act as an intermediator, I think that's the word, to help fix and help the situation. I feel like this reading kind of went all over the place. Because this king and queen of wands, this couple, whomever this couple is, they are not together currently. The two of cups is in reverse. The queen and king are right here with the devil in reverse in between. And that tells me, like, things were not good. Things are not, un not healthy. But with the queen of swords here and the star it's like there's a desire to fix things and make things right again to co to communicate what needs to be communicated to say what needs to be said to make things right again because someone here does not want to be single they do not want to be single they do not want to be on their own oh taurus Let's get one more for Taurus, because this is this was the big reading. There's a lot here to read. Whew. I feel like I was going to say someone doesn't want to leave something, and there's this desire, too. Like, I don't want to leave. I don't want to end this. I don't want to be alone. So this is y'all driving your asses to therapy. And listening to someone... Who you can get it all out to and that's the therapist over here maybe you're seeing a, a female therapist who is able to be like lay it all on the table now I'm gonna give you guys directions and what you need to do for your homework you're going to blah blah blah, blah. I have a feeling it'll work but like I feel, I just have this feeling of like two people who are not together or it's like not working, but you both want it to work. Maybe there's just a need to like do some counseling and sprucing up in your relationship. Taurus, if this doesn't resonate, check out the other signs in your chart and I hope you are happy, healthy, and well. I'll see you next time. Bye.